Well, today I'd like to share with you another one of my favorite dinners I often ate during my weight loss and fitness transformation process. It's a baked chicken breast with my favorite beans, the Southern Pit Grilling Beans. Now, I also enjoy a light salad with this meal. Let's get into the preparation and nutrient information. First, I like to use foil over my baking pan for easy cleanup and a non-stick spray. The dry spice I'm using is a barbecue spice. I have many varieties of dry spices I use in my cooking and they all pack a lot of great flavor. Next, sprinkle the dry spice onto both sides of the chicken breast. There is no need to oil the breast as the dry spice sticks to a non-oiled breast just fine. Now set the oven to 350 and put the chicken in the oven and set your timer for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, turn over the chicken and bake another 12 minutes. Now the cooking time actually varies by breast size and for my 6 ounce size, 12 minutes each side, give or take, has worked out well for me. If you have a smaller or larger breast, adjust your cooking time accordingly. Once the second side is done, remove the breast from the oven. Place the beans into your microwave to heat. Then pour onto your plate with the chicken. The beans have a great flavor and I like to dip bites of my chicken into the beans. I'll add a fat-free raspberry vinaigrette to the light salad, which really adds a nice tangy flavor to match the barbecue flavors of the main dish. Notice how well the dry spice has baked into the chicken. This, like my chili dish, has been a simple yet delicious meal in my core diet. Now let's take a look at the nutrient data. First as always, we track our daily calorie consumption target, and the total calories here are about 415, which for my target at around 2400 is in line towards my daily total. The canned beans are high in sodium, but also have a lot of potassium, as does the chicken, with the spinach and bell peppers adding a bit more. This gives us a nearly 2 to 1 potassium to sodium ratio. This is one of my higher carb-based dinners because of the beans, but the GL load is okay. Finally, to build and maintain our muscle mass, we're getting about 44 grams of protein in this dish. Also, our fiber is great at 8.3 grams. And finally, the antioxidant value of this meal is decent with the purple cabbage and beans leading the way. Now, I hope this information is useful to you as you strategize ways to modify your eating habits towards your weight loss and six-pack goals.